Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 9 New Thrills. So, I've done a little bit between episodes, as you could probably tell. Uh, first thing is, I encased the entire place with, with just glass for now. There is a lot of baddies outside, I will admit. You can kind of see them around. You can see them on the, on the map at least, right? And, uh, what else did I do? I got some bees. Anyone that's been with the channel for a while will know that I really like bees. So, we've got a load of bees. Uh, this here is, if I open this one up, we've got, nope, oh, an advanced dark oak beehive. I always go for oak beehives, and I thought I'd go for something different, so dark oak it is. And then I've got the expansion box on top, and that just makes it so it can hold five bees. And we can put some upgrades in here and everything. I want to get a simulation upgrade as soon as possible because it does cut down on lag like quite a bit. Really useful. Um, what else did I do? I, I made some crafters. Oh, blimey. There we go. Uh, there was supposed to be an extra bee in here, by the way. But I think there was an issue with cramming and he died. So, yeah, we need to look into that. Uh, oh, I haven't eaten honey yet, apparently. So let's grab some honey. I'll have a bit of a snack on that. I did just get extra hearts. Okay, that spider is going to annoy me. He makes such an annoying sound, doesn't he? So, there we go. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? So, I made some crafters. So, these things are amazing. These are from... Uh, well, these ones here are from extra storage, but it's a refined storage thing, right? Ah, I've got one down here. So, what you do is you need one of these things called the pattern grid. This is from Refined Storage again. You need to... Oh, brilliant. And they're going to be loud as well. Let me go um, sort those out and then I'll be back in a sec. Right, they are dealt with. I also had to kill one of those flipping summoning dudes. You know, the ones that summon like a bunch of stuff. Anyway, where were we? Crafters, crafters. Uh, I need to go get some milk at some point, but meh. Crafters, yeah. So, you need one of these things called a pattern grid. Now, you're going to be probably spending a lot of time in the pattern grid, if I'm honest. Uh, if you're going to do, like, lots and lots of automation using refined storage. There's the equivalent in Applied Energistics as well, where you have to, I think it's called a pattern encoder or something like that. Uh, but, yeah, you need to be in here quite a lot, basically. And uh, there's a few bits you can do. So first off, you can do regular crafts. So that's as if you like came up and you put them in order here. And then for this example, it was for one of these upgrades. Now, what's really cool about this is if you've got like, I've got a recipe right here for the improved processor, which is you put one of the raw improved processors into a furnace or you put it into an inventory and out pops the like finished version of it if you know what i mean so there's an input which is the raw improved processor and the output which is just a you know an improved processor so what's really cool about that is i've got it in here and you see this little like dotted side this is like where it's putting the items so i could put a chest right here and that's what one of these would do like if i'd have put this in here it would uh, put all of the items, so in this case it was this thing, the raw. It would put it in the chest, and then it would just wait, and it would assume that you would uh, you would get one of the improved processors out. So in this case, it's putting that into the diamond furnace. The diamond furnace then gets it, smelts it up, and does actually, in fact, give you the improved processor. I hope that makes sense to everyone, but yeah, that's basically what it does. Uh, you can then use that recipe and you can chain recipes. So in this situation, we've got the upgrade, which needs, not only does it need glass, which again, I've got a recipe for, which is just smelting some sand. So right here, we've got glass right there. We've also got the improved processor and we've got quartz enriched iron and quartz enriched iron itself is like a regular recipe, you know, um, it's right here. So if I, I take this one out and I put it there, you can see that's just a regular recipe. That's why this one is not what we call a processing recipe. It's just a regular recipe, right? 
So that's why that's there. There's these two modes as well. So processing is like we could say put one plank or 64 planks in and you get 64 planks out. You could literally do that recipe, but we don't want to do that. The other one is just a regular craft and you can set that to exact mode or if there's like a, uh, I'm trying to think now what would be a good example of a not exact mode. Ah, okay, I've thought of a good example. And the example that I'm gonna use is anything that uses stone. So you see this, this printer, for example. If we do this, and we don't have it on exact mode, it will just use anything that is like, um, what do we call it now? Library with stone, I think that's how you say it. Anyway, it would just use anything. So it could be this, it could be regular, you know, smelted stone, it could be granite, whatever it uses, it, it can just use any of them. So that's really useful later on. Uh, for example, you could do that and you can say not exact. If you've got any other planks, it will use the other planks. Hope that makes sense. Anyway, I made a few patterns. So I've got a load of them down here, which are specifically for refined storage. In fact, I wanted to make another one, which was stack upgrades. I actually want to make a, a thing for stack upgrades. So let's do this. And all you do is you come in here and you just do it from JEI. You click the click the button for the recipe. And then I can put that one in here. Now the stack upgrade does require the speed upgrade and the speed upgrade requires the pattern for the upgrade. It also requires the uh, quartz enriched iron. It requires a uh, improved processor, which also requires this raw improved processor and the raw improved processor requires this processor binding and oh my God, so on and so on. And also it requires the silicon and flipping it. There's so many things that you can do with, uh, with processing like that. Anyway, what I was going to say was, uh, someone actually commented it recently, but I did literally just find it. Anyway, I'm going to give you credit. So thank you for commenting about this, but what you can do is if you get some saplings or anything that gives you, like I'm going to use, I'm going to use these ones, right? If you get some of these, in fact, I think it's just two each. I don't have any uh, clay. Do I have any clay left? Or did I convert it all? Oh, I do. Okay, cool. So if you get some of these and I'm just going to put two dark oak saplings in, you get biofuel. Uh, in fact, I'll put two more in. Why not? So now we've got eight biofuel. If we do, I'm going to split these up into, yeah, blocks of two. If we put two biofuel in the infusing factory like that, You'll see it says biomass down here. Put a clay ball in and it turns it into a slime ball. That's so useful, it's so useful. So we are definitely doing that. That's a really good way of getting slime really early because usually we'd have to do the create method and uh, the create method for slime balls is a little bit more involved because you have to actually like, set a bunch of stuff up. It's this method right here. So you need dough. Why? Why did that happen? That's so annoying. Okay, so that means two bees have died so far on that. That used to be a thing. You used to be able to trap them in a little tiny cage like that and they wouldn't die, but apparently that one did die. Lobster John probably coded that out, which is fair enough, fair enough, because it's probably taking its time. Anyway, there we go. Hopefully those three are fine. <laughs> Man. Anyway, slime balls before, as I was saying, you need to make dough and you get dough by, well, combining some water with wheat flour and you get wheat flour by either using a crushing wheel or a millstone. Millstones are actually really easy to make, so you could do one of those. And then lob some wheat in there, you get some flour. Sometimes you get some extra flour as well, so it's quite easy to get. What I usually do is make a washing station and then you get some dough out of it. And then you use the dough with lime dye and you get yourself a slime ball. It's quite involved, whereas this one you can just use whatever you've got in here and then uh, pop it in here with some clay. And clay is relatively easy to get. So I thought that was kind of cool. Ooh, I got a, a bundle from somewhere. It's pretty good. 
Uh, I'm just going to go get a bucket of milk to take this uh, bad omen off me. There we go, got an extra one as well. Uh, it's just turning night time, so I, I could light this area up, to be fair. But instead, I'm going to make a mega torch. Mega torch, one of those bad boys. Lovely stuff. Right, I'm going to put that right here. It seems really weird having a mega torch next to something that makes uh, mobs. Uh, mega torch, by the way, that just stops regular spawns, as in spawns of like hostile mobs in a 64 by 64 radius, I think. I think it's 64 by 64. Anyway, uh, that is if something was to naturally spawn in, as in if it's dark out and then it will start spawning in. Instead, we could do this and it will still spawn these in because it's not a natural spawn. It's a spawn from a mob spawner. So it kind of makes sense. Anyway, I have a plan for today and it actually involves mob spawns. And that is... Um, we're going to go get a few more mob spawners, funny enough. Uh, okay, it's like a two-part plan. The first part is uh, I wanted to get the feeding upgrade so I don't have to keep eating. And I also wanted to get the eternal beef, but we'll get the eternal beef another time, I think. But for now, or steak or whatever it's called, I want to go and get, what's it called? Uh, compass. I want to get some really good spawners. And you get that by using one of these things. And so our quest begins. But who is the hero of this tale? Isn't that from Fable? I remember that from like ages ago. Anyway, this is where we are off. We are off in this direction because this points us to a... Oh, I don't know what you call it. Iron Spells and Spellbooks Dead King area? Right, I found the area that I want to find, which was uh, just over here. You can vaguely hear it. And there we go, we are in. So, Silk Touch. Uh, I'm going to mine these two spawners right here. So these are the ones that summon the Invoker Fangs. There's a few of them, to be fair. Okay, I just broke my pickaxe. Luckily, I've got a magnet, but... You can see, look at the max spawn delay and the min spawn delay. 0 and 20. You can't even get it down to 0 and 20. So uh, don't bother, like, actually putting things on that. Oh, crap. How do I get back? Oh, there's more. Oh, okay. Wait. Let me, uh, let me just repair this pickaxe because I can do that. Yes, I'll put it right here. Okay. Ow. So I can stand right here. Pick this one up. Yes, these are these are all gonna be There's another one! Flipping egg, there's loads of them. I love it. These are all gonna be really useful because Wow, they've got really low spawn delays. Love it. These are going to be the ones that we uh, we use all the time, I think. If we can. Ow. That was a lot of damage. Flipping egg. Just for reference, I found another spawner just now. Iron Spells Catacombs Zombie Spawner. And it's got 200, 800. Right there. So it's, it's rubbish in comparison. Um, right, we're just going to close the door on those ones. We could take these blast furnaces, actually, because they're kind of a pain to make, aren't they? Take all this coal as well, because why not? Oh, this is one way to get magma blocks. There's a magma block in here. Weird. Oh, I can't... Oh, I've got two minutes! Okay, just going to shut the door. I might actually wait two minutes, and then we're going to do a slash home. And then we can get out of this place. But, in fact, before I do, I'm going to bookmark this. Or, you know, put one of these down. New. Iron spells and spell books. Dead king. Dead king is going to be really useful later. Because we need to kill the dead king for something for the ATM star, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was it. We need these fire runes. 
and the blank rune stones, I think, are dropped by this dude. But if we go back, fire runes are actually dropped by this pyromancer dude. So we could go get a pyromancer spawn egg, which I will show you in a bit how to get that. And we can maybe get a spawner up and running for the fire runes. Instead of doing the, the dead king method, because the dead king's kind of a pain. We have a look right here. Oh, there's a there's a bee for it now. Arcane Essence, and you've got a 15% chance to get blank runestone. Yeah! Bees coming in clutch again. Uh, it's probably a good idea to set up a dead king spawner at some point anyway, but we we'll, might do the other way using drought bees. But we'll do that another time, I think. And we're out. There we go. So... We can lob this away. Uh, if you do want to make a new compass, or if you want a new place where a dead king is, if you killed that first one, if you make a new compass like really far away, so you go like, I don't know, 2,500 blocks away, make a new compass right there, you will get pointed to a new place. So just so you know that. Anyway, uh, I am going to empty all of this out and then We'll get to making some spawners. Oh yeah, before I forget, you can um, you can put the bread in and get some toast. Toast is really good because it's like even better for your bang for your buck, if you know what I mean. And you can put stuff on your toast and it's even better. So you can make some jam on toast. Raspberry jam or jelly if you're American. I'm not going to go down that route again. People don't like it when I talk about jam and... Uh, American jelly. Anyway, uh, there's avocado. Avocado is like one of the best foods that you can get avocado on toast to begin with. So uh, we might go look for an avocado tree at some point, I think. But for now, we're just going to eat toast because we haven't eaten just regular toast before. I'm going to put that in the backpack. Anyway, I want to go find a uh, feeding upgrade. So, well, f by find, I mean make, but we need. A golden carrot, which I think we've got. Carrot, we do. Gold, so we can make ourselves a golden carrot. In fact, we should make two because we need one of those. It's really good for saturation. Anyway, uh, I didn't bookmark it. Feeding upgrade. We might as well upgrade it afterwards as well, but for now we'll just do the base, base tier. Last thing left on the list is glistening melon. So we need a melon. Melon. We don't have it. Is it two L's in melon? There's one L. Okay. We don't have a melon. So what we can do, we can use the nature's compass and go find us a jungle. Yeah, let's do that. I think they are in jungles, right? We can also go find some bamboo if we wanted, but let's do a, just a regular jungle. And apparently it's like... A thousand blocks in this direction. It is indeed. There it is. Right. Why did I come to jungle? Oh yeah, yeah. Because they might have some melons out and about. Is that right? There we go. There's a melon. I knew it. Get one of these, and I'm just going to get a couple. And what we are going to do? That is a point. There's a bee that we need to get called the sugar bag bee that you can only do in a jungle biome. Right, we are home and I'm just going to make the, the melon real quick. Do one of those and then we upgrade it because why not? And those are both quests as well. So I should really look at the quests because I haven't looked at them in a little while. Mega torch gives us something random. Let's just click the button. Oh, that got us like a bunch of stuff. Oh, I love it. Anyway, let's stick this in here. And this will just eat for us. We no longer have to manually eat. Oh, that gave us loads of patterns. I like that. Patterns are kind of a pain. Anyway, let's lob all of this stuff away. And the beehive. Oh, that's a point. Uh, hashtag not. And it will give us all the things that we have not eaten yet. Uh, we should definitely smelt these up. Smart up a bunch of stuff. Oh, I've got my uh, humanoid flesh. That's really useful. We can use that to get our first ATM star. I like that. 
some, and then you can get this, and I might turn, no, I'll leave the carrots how they are. We can also turn the sauce berries in, why are you not letting me, I pressed escape, didn't I? We turn the sauce berries into, sauce berry roll, okay. Okay, we might have to leave that for now then, until we've got some wheat. Anyway, let's put all of this in the backpack, after I've smelted it up. And there we are, we've got like a bunch of weird foods in our backpack. I don't know if it will, I think it will get through like all of this stuff first, like at the beginning and then go on to the next stuff. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Uh, you can also get an eternal steak, eternal steak, one of these things from artifacts. And you get that by killing cows. If you kill like a bunch of them, it's a rare drop from cows or sorry, the, the beef is. And you can get a mimic prediction. I forgot about this. Okay, we'll have to do this at some point. I forget how you get the data models. Okay, I might have to make one of these. I actually killed two mimics between episodes and I feel really bad about it now. Because I could just make, okay, I'll do that another time. We haven't seen another one yet. Anyway, we've got ourselves the feeding upgrade so we don't ever have to eat again. I think for now, I'm just gonna make an osmium one because osmium's like pretty decent to begin with. And we are gonna go Oh, hello. Ow, ow. Uh, do we fight these dudes? Oh, you know what I should make? I should make a data model for these. Right, there we go. I know we can only have four things in here at once, right? There's only four slots. But we can at least, like, put a few of these things away. So, the first... Okay, well. I'm going to need one of these at least. The first thing... Oh, we need both. We need the mob swab and we need a uh, a data model, I suppose. Okay, let's make some more mob swabs. So, okay, I don't have that much. String. I'm out of string as well. No, okay. Fine, we'll just do two for now. Uh, yeah, we're finally going to take on the mansion. And we're not really in there for like the drops that it'll have. We're in there for the mobs that it's got. If you know what I mean. So there should be an invoker in here. And we 100% want to get an invoker spawner. Oh, it's a vindicator. He's even better. In my opinion. Eh. So what you do is you get... Uh, fine. How do I... How do I get him away from me? Let's go up here. I'm just doing this so I can put this away. And then... Hello, my my dude. So Vindicators also give uh, emeralds and that's what we're going for really is emeralds. And I should have got a kill right there on this dude. Yeah, one out of six. Uh, we also got a mob swab so we could, that's that's basically Vindicators done. We can make a spawner to make some Vindicators out of it. Aha, there's the other one. Mob swab. Ow. Oh god, I hate them. I hate them so much. Stop it. Ow. No, come here. Oh, I need to, I need a data model. I need a data model. Let me just land somewhere. Bag. Data model. Where's he gone? And then we also need to put the data model in this thing. So let's put that in real quick and whew. Deaded. <laughs> We might actually get a data model for Vindicators. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So it turns out we can actually make a simulation chamber now. I'm not actually going to make a simulation chamber yet because it takes like lots of power. Uh, we can't make a loot fabricator either, which needs a netherite ingot. So yes, and we don't have any netherite yet. There is a way that we can get loads of netherite and that involves a spawner again. Netherite is dropped by one of these ancient knights, so we might have to go into the nether and find one of these dudes. We are going to need to go there anyway because the Cinderessence might be quite useful later on. In fact, it is. We need it because we need these empty upgrade orbs. So, because we need those to get the fire one. We need the fire one because we need it for the pulsating black hole, right? So, 
Cool. Okay, we're going to ignore hostile neural networks. Right now, I just need to make a mob swab. So we need to get a bucket of XP. So I need an XP drain. Which does require a couple of ender pearls. Okie dokie. That's all the ender pearls we had. Oh, I can... Nope, that's not it. I can do this and it will go off and make me loads of loads of uh, glass. I like that. Should be done. There it is. So now we can make this. So what the XP drain does is if you stand on it, it will take your XP and it will put it into this thing. And then we can use some buckets. So we can take the buckets, we can use the mob swabs. And I can do one of those and one of those. Now this one here is for the invoker, this one's for the vindicator. And all we have to do is go find a chicken, feed this to the chicken, and then we'll get the spawn egg. Aha, there is a chicken right there, so let's give that a invoker. Do, 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 do. That plays every time, by the way, so just uh, be mindful of that. And an invoker spawn egg, which is pretty good. Right, before the sun goes down and we end the episode, this is what we've got right here. So I put a golden apple, I put a comparator, I put the uh, piece of wool and the soul lantern on both of these spawners. And then I used each of the uh, spawn eggs on each of the spawners as well. So like one on each, right? So we've got an invoker and we've got a vindicator spawner in there. And uh, I'm also using this redstone link. This is from create right here. So uh, this is linked via the frequency right there. I can show you, I've got a little porthole right there. It's linked to this one on the bottom. I forgot that these two are so close together that turning this one on will turn the one above it on as well, which is kind of a pain, but it's okay. Anyway, so I turn this one on and uh, it turns both of them on, which is fine. So uh, if I turn this one on, you can see that it is, it is spawning them in and I've got a mob masher right there. Mob masher is absolutely awesome. It will spin and uh, it will do damage to anything that hits it. I'm using vector plates to push them into the uh, the mob basher, the spinny thing. And then I've got a basic item collector for now in here. And that is going to put that into this chest that we've got. Now, right now, I've only got a tier 3 upgrade because I can't afford to get the higher tier version of this. Uh, but that makes it so it stacks up to 8 times. So each one of these can stack up to eight times. I might end up binning off all of the Totem of Undying. Not all of them. I'll, I'll keep hold of a few of them. But that's that has got us some of these um, these grimoires. Now this is a thing from uh, Iron Spells and Spellbooks and it's got a couple of things in there. So I can summon Vex if I wanted to. There you go. So I've got little Vexy pals. And they should attack the same things as me. That's really cool. Um, there's also not enough mana for Fang Ward. Okay. So there's Fang Ward. There. Oh, wow. The, these Vexes will follow me around for 10 minutes. That's insane. Oh, I like this. What about the... Oh, yeah. We can do that thing. That's, that's pretty cool. I like that. So, yeah. We got these Grimoires. We're going to get a ton of these, so we might actually have to bin those off eventually as well. We're going to get some miniature red hearts, which we're not going to bin off, because we want those. Get some Inferium Essence, which again, we'll keep hold of that, because why the heck not. We're going to get some charms as well, which is pretty good. And the banners, I'm going to bin off, because I don't really think there's anything we need from banners. No, it doesn't look like it. So, yeah, we could just bin these off. So, bin, bin bin eventually yeah uh, but the main thing from this is we're going to get a ton of emeralds uh eventually i will just say that there's some upgrades you can put in the mob masher which i have not yet and that is that mob masher these ones right here so there's like 
the smite ability. There's one right here, sharpness. I could do this, if I'm honest. I, I might go make 40 swords right now. That is 80 iron. It depends how much iron we've got. In fact, we could see it. Not enough. We haven't got enough right there. But if we had 80 iron, I would make all of those... Uh, what was they? Mob masher. Yeah, all of those iron swords. We're actually out of redstone as well right now, which is kind of a pain. But the one I really want to get is the looting upgrade, because you can put 10 of these in there. And you basically get, like, looting... I think it's, like, looting three, which is fine. But we need ten looting one books. And I don't know how we're going to do that other than getting a library. Because we could get one of these enchantment libraries, and then that would be really, really simple for us to use. I don't know yet. Maybe that's one for next episode. And we can get some looting on there. And... I might try and get myself a better chest or a better way of getting, picking up the items, putting them in. Maybe, maybe we use, that is a point. Can we not just use drawers? I might do that. I might make a new storage controller and use a drawer. And then we can maybe build it into this. That would be kind of cool. Anyway, I think that one is for next episode. So... Thank you for watching, thanks for joining, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!